welcome to Audrey Southern Cooking. My name is Nita. How are you doing today? If you haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. So as you know, it's becoming fall. You can see it's still a little dark outside and it is ooh, after seven o'clock in the morning and there's leaves falling. So it's becoming fall which is a, a wonderful time of the year. Fall and spring are my most favorite times. So what are we gonna do with fall? Well, as you've seen, we've already made some muscadine jelly. If you haven't seen that video before, I'll put a link up here or it'll be in the description for sure. And we're getting ready for, we're gonna do all kinds of fun fall foods. So I'm gonna do a creamy basil tomato soup. Good. But today, today we are going to do apples. What are we doing with apples? Well, we're going to make apple butter. This is a lot like applesauce. This is so good, y'all. And what I'm going to do with it, not in this video, but stay tuned for another video, is I'm going to make fried apple pies. So what I'm gonna do, you see my pot right here, I'm gonna go ahead and can it. You don't have to can this if you don't want to. If you're gonna put it, you can keep it in the refrigerator. This does make quite a lot. So um, if you're gonna give it out to people or whatever you wanna do, that's fine. But since I'm not gonna use it all right away, I'm gonna can it. So let's see what we have to have today. Okay, so for today, and I'm kind of disorganized this morning, so you have to uh, forgive me. So for today, we're gonna have to have 10 cups of sliced apples. And I'm leaving the skin zone because it's a little faster, but you can definitely peel them. Um, this is about eight and a half cups. So I'm gonna do, I've already sliced one. I'm just gonna slice this last one to show you how to do that. Um, but before we start that, let me show you what we gotta have. So we gotta have 10 cups of apples, you have 10 and a half, or you have nine and a half, it's fine. So don't stress about being exactly 10, uh, 10 cups. We're gonna need some ground nutmeg, ground allspice, some ground cloves, ground cinnamon. We got honey, we got a lot of ground stuff. So, <laughs> and we're gonna have to have a cup of sugar, and if you've seen this before, you may have seen this before. This is a food meal or colander. You, uh, you saw, if you saw me what, do the muscadine jelly, you saw me using this. So we're gonna put the things in here. The applesauce, and we're just gonna go it out and the applesauce is gonna squeeze out and the skins will stay inside. But make sure that you core these apples. The reason being is apple seeds do carry arsenic. Now it's not enough if you swallow an apple seed, you're gonna be fine, trust me. But in bulk, it could make you sick. It, this is not enough to more than likely kill you, but it will make you quite sick. So we take the apple seeds out. So what we're gonna do, we take an apple. These are just Gala apples. You can use Red Delicious. You can use Granny Smith. You can use yellow apples, whatever you want to use. Now remember, all my videos, I'm gonna show you how to make things, but it's gonna be your recipe to do, uh, you can change some things around if you want. I'm just sharing my grandmother's and my mother's recipes to keep the old recipes going. So you can change this how you want. Now, as far as the sugar, you can definitely use a sugar substitute I would use the granulated sub sugar substitute only because um, it's gonna have to dissolve in there. So that's what you wanna do. But feel free to experiment with whatever you have. One last thing before I get started. Sweet tea, it's getting fall and yes, it's a little cooler, but we always have our sweet tea. Ooh, that's good. And not all the time will I have ice in it. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to do ice. So I'm just taking my little trusty knife here. 
We'll slice it down the center. Now you can core, if you have one of those core little contraptions machines <laughs> that you can just core it with, that's fine. I do not, so I'm just gonna use this. So I just cut it in half, then I'm gonna quarter it. And I'm just going to take the core and just cut that out. It's really simple. Ta-da! <laughs> See? And you just slice it. You're just gonna slice this up into the cup. Like I said, if you wanna use one of those cores, that's fine. I think you can get them at Walmart. I don't really see the point for me, personally. But if you use them a lot, go for it. You're making you, did you just see what I did? I just put that core right in there. All right, then we're gonna slice it into here. Again, last one. Just core it and slice it in. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is put these in a pot, cover them with water, and I, we're gonna boil them for about 25 minutes until they're soft. So let's move over to the stove and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, welcome to the stove. Can you see my pots? I mean, I'm <laughs> you can see my jars boiling. Um, I'm gonna turn those down a little bit. So I'm just using this kind of water. I just bought some water at Walmart, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna put enough in there. Probably too much, but this is gonna be fine. So I'm gonna get a lid and put on top of this, and I'll be right back. All right, so there goes my lid. So let's turn this on high. You probably just honestly need about a cup. I'd probably put more like two, two and a half cups in there. Uh, one cup should be fine. Because what you're going to do is you're going to bring this to a boil and then what we're going to do, I'm going to set it off, offset it just a little for a crack so that once it starts boiling, the steam will come out, but that steam is going to cook the, the um, apples. And then once they're done, we'll add our other ingredients to the, at the end and then we'll mill it out and they'll be ready to be canned. So once this is done, we'll be back. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back to the stove. My apples are done. I had left it open just a little bit to cook some of that extra water off because I cooked too much. So let's move to the counter over here and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, welcome to the counter. Well, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour my apples into here and then we're gonna get the pot ready I'm gonna put my food meal in the pot, the same pot I just boiled them in, and we're gonna mash them. So let's go ahead and get that started. Ooh, they smell good. All right. There. So we're gonna put our food meal in here. Taking my little masher out. I'm gonna pour the apples back in. Now remember, these apples have skins on them. I'm just gonna do a few at a time. That way you can kind of see what I'm doing. So we're just gonna push this plunger right down in there and we're just going to rotate it around and around and what that's going to do is I'm not sure if you can see is that the apples are starting to come through and put a few more in Gonna go around and around, and you just kind of mash it down, squirt it around. Be careful not to get too carried away with mashing it too fast, I should say. Just going around and around. 
and you're just making applesauce. So let me show you now what it kind of looks like. See how it's looking here? And there's your applesauce coming out. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. It won't take but a few more minutes and I'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I've got all that mashed. All that 10 cups of apples and this is what I got. It's probably about four or five cups maybe. So what we're gonna do is move to the stove. I'm gonna bring this up to about a medium heat and then we're gonna add our ingredients. So I guess I could go ahead and add them now and then we'll get over to the stove. That'll make it a little easier so you can see. So we're gonna do a cup of sugar. Hold on, what's that? I couldn't find my thing there right here in front of me, the hotel. So I need uh, one tablespoon of cinnamon. This is very uh, much like the pear preserves we made. All right, so we have one tablespoon of the cinnamon. Then we're gonna have a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of allspice. So allspice, half a teaspoon. And if it's not exact level, it's fine. We're not perfect here. And uh, the nutmeg. Looks like I'm gonna have to get some more nutmeg. That's gonna be just perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I might have some more up in the cabinet, but that's good. So then we have our cloves and we're gonna do half of a teaspoon of that. Ooh, it's smelling like fall. All right, let's move to the stove. All right, so here's the stove and I put it on medium. So I'm gonna let you see this stir up. Look how dark that gets. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Like I said, instead of using sugar, you can use a sugar substitute. If you find that nutmeg or allspice or um, any of that is overbearing for you, maybe the cloves is a little overbearing, just cut it down just a little bit. Instead of a half a teaspoon, you maybe put a quarter of a teaspoon. All right, so I'm gonna bring this to a boil and let it get a little bit thicker and we'll be done. All right, we'll be right back. All right, I just turned my applesauce off, or apple butter, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at that. So we're gonna move over to the counter real quick. We're gonna do a quick test, test taste test. Um, it's still a little hot, so we'll try a little tiny bit of it, and then I'm going to can it for myself. But there's just, there may be about three or four jars, which is great. I'm not gonna use all of it at once. So, well, I'll meet you at the counter. All right, welcome to the counter. So, we have our apple butter. This is gonna be so good. So it's very much like an apple sauce, but this is a little bit thicker, so you can put it on biscuits if you want, or whatever you want to make, whatever you want to put it on. You want to put it on the side dish, you know what I'm going to do with it? On another video, we're going to make fried apple pies. If you have ever been to the South, or if you're from the South and you've had fried apple pies, well, y'all, I'm telling you what. So that's probably gonna be another, that'll be another video for sure. And I, I'm, I can't wait to do it. 
So let's try it. I've tried to let it sit here cool enough where I can get it in my mouth. Mm. That's really, really good. I would probably next time cut the cloves back just a little bit for me. Other than that, it's, I mean, it's fabulous. And I went ahead and added about, I don't know, three, about three or four tablespoons of sugar for me. They needed a little bit more because the apples were a little bit more bitter. Um, they're not bitter, they're good to eat. They just weren't sweet enough. Let me rephrase that. I don't want to make y'all think that my apples were bad. All right, so if you can see here, I'm heating up some jars. I've got lids here and rings are behind this. I'm just gonna can some for me. Um, I'll show you some pictures at the end of what it looks like canned. I'm not gonna show you how to do the canning because I've done that on a couple of other videos. So if you wanna look at the muscadine jelly recipe, there you can see me canning at the end of that. All right. Oh, just uh, some other ideas you can do with this. If you want to go ahead and peel your apples, you can go ahead and peel them, boil them like we did, but then you can use your blender and then mash them if you want to do that instead of doing the meal. You don't, if you don't have one, it's fine. Use a blender. If you don't have a blender, maybe a hand mixer would work great. You just beat it for a while, make sure that it turns into this applesauce. That's all you need. That's all you got to do. Again, you can use a different kind of sugar. You can use um, the sugar-free kind. So you can use the uh, substitute. I would use the granulated kind, like I said, so that you know it's gonna, for baking, because that will actually dissolve in there and you know that it's, uh, you know it's dissolved, not clumping up and all that good stuff. And like I was saying earlier, you, I don't have to can this. I could just put it in a container, but it has to be eaten. The recipe says three to four weeks. I'm kind of iffy on that. So I'm thinking maybe a week, week and a half at the most. So, um, as you can see, sorry about that. <laughs> as you can see, there's um, a good bit in here that unless I really want to eat it every day, I'm not going to be able to eat it in that amount of time. So, like I said, I'm going to can them, and that will actually uh, preserve it longer. So, I know I've had questions of people, do I have to can, do I have to, you don't have to do a lot of these canning, but remember, canning and making jelly, things like that, is for keeping it for a long period of time. Like over the winter time, I remember growing up as a kid, we would have boxes and boxes and boxes of jars of jelly and pickles and all kinds of things, just to last through the winter time so that we have these things and it keeps them preserved. So just keep that in mind. If you wanna make that this apple butter and you just wanna go ahead and eat it right away, just fine, you don't have to can it. Just put it in a, a container with a snap lid and um, keep it sealed that way. All right, if y'all enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get more videos. Also, go ahead and like the channel, and like the video so that more people can see that and share it with your friends. Post it on Facebook. Um, let people know about it. I'm still trying to get my membership up, so please help me with that. Also, I've started a little something new. You'll see more and more of that as we go along. If you notice, earrings today. I don't usually wear earrings, but these are actually leather. These are cowhide, and they actually have the cow fur on it, the hair. Um, these are like the Joanna Gaines style that you may see. It's kind of popular. So I'll be wearing different videos of earrings that I am now making. I also have a resin earrings, so there'll be different colors. So you'll see all kinds of different things. I have studs and I'll try to post a few pictures at the end. I am trying to get up enough inventory built up so I can put them on Etsy. But if you want to currently buy them, I will put some pictures at the end and I will list a few prices if you want to purchase them. So you just go ahead and you can inbox me. I'll put my email address on there. You can email me if you'd like and let me know if you want to buy a pair and you can pay Venmo or PayPal. Or if you just want to support my channel, just go ahead and uh, use that Venmo or PayPal link 
and you can uh, help my channel five dollars ten dollars whatever you feel like you want to do <clears throat> excuse me that helps my channel a lot to be able to purchase ingredients so that we can continue on with the videos all right i appreciate everything y'all do i appreciate y'all watching i appreciate y'all sharing a glass of iced tea with me while we're cooking oh let me get some that feels good going down y'all when you're thirsty you don't realize it but i appreciate y'all all the way around and um i couldn't do this without you so thank you so much for watching and go ahead and like i said share it with your friends you may have other friends that may want to watch as well all right thank y'all again y'all have a great day and i'll see you next time don't forget we'll make apple pies <laughs>